Hey friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. And on this episode, we'll be discussing Apple TV Plus's original series called Little America, which was just a little treat. Yes. <laughs> there were eight beautifully executed short episodes about real people, mm -hmm. immigrants. They all yes. had one thing in common, America. <laughs> yes. Wow. I was surprised by this. How did you feel about it? I, I enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to mention that is an anthology um, style, so every episode is separate. Yes. You just, like, jump right in and watch it. I like that. In I'm any really order. It. Yeah. Um, and they're based off of or inspired by true stories that were originally in Epic Magazine. So I really like that structure. I like it, yeah. too. And they were so short, but it got the point across for mm -hmm. every single one of the episodes. Yes. I like that they put the name of the person they're highlighting mm -hmm. in it. Like, for example, the first one was about Kabir. Mm -hmm. And wow, did it leave me feeling all tingly inside. I know. <laughs> and emotional even. And when they show the real person, the picture of the real person, yes. and I a little short update. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that I just agree. brought it all together. Yes. And yeah, I, I, out, out of all eight of the episodes, I do have a favorite. Oh, do you? Tell me. It's the one right here. Iwan oh, Buna. Yes. Really? In his story. Yeah. I thought he was so cute because oh. he's like so happy-go-lucky yes. and then when he discovers the whole cowboy because you know the cowboy culture yes. he grew up with mm -hmm. and um like watching the movies back home mm -hmm, exactly so I just thought that was really cute and the people this is in Oklahoma a long time yeah. ago and the people were so willing to help him yes and I don't know that I love that one and when he was like wearing the boots and he was like strutting the street and I was like oh he's so cold and he was like oh my feet oh I <laughs> know so funny. and then the water leaking out of yes. it because that's how they said to break in the yes. boots <laughs> Oh my gosh. Funny. Yeah. So that's my favorite. Um, do you have a favorite? I kind of do have a favorite. So my favorite was actually the very first one. And um, what I liked about it was that it was like a, a glimpse of like American immigrant culture that I'd never seen before. And it was like so melancholy and it like, but beautifully done. Yeah. Like the way they showed um, his, the time pass, like he, like his parents were deported and he didn't get to like grow up with them face to face. It was yeah. all like through Skype. And it was just like, so like sad and beautiful at the same time and I like was in, in tears at the end. Oh my Isn't gosh. Beautiful. I know. You never know where it's gonna go. And a lot of these are success stories. Yes. So which I like that. Mm -hmm. It was very heartwarming to I watch liked, it. I liked like that it was varying degrees of success too True. because it was definitely about the American dream. And I have a little bit of problems about like things that just full on celebrate the American dream because not everybody has the opportunities to achieve it. But there was like the Iranian family mm -hmm. who the, um, the dad just wants to build their dream home, but like he's still like he hasn't achieved it yet. Faraz, <laughs> Faraz. but he's gonna keep on. He keeps on getting there, and he's like trying to chip away at that rock. And but he's still he's still is, working. Yeah. Not there though. <laughs> yeah, not there though. He's working another. <laughs> but one, I really yeah. like that story. The that, spirit, yes, right? Exactly. And persevering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. No, I like that too. Um, I mean. Really, like, it was just, like, great storytelling without pushing any agenda, which is mm -hmm. why I think everybody could watch this and enjoy it. It wasn't yes. too much in your face about any particular thing. It's just telling real stories about real people. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, really And like I that. agree with that, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why, um, like, they were able to make it, because there wasn't an agenda. But at the same time, I have to say, I do wish there was a little bit more, like, problematizing of what life is like for an immigrant in America, because... Like, especially, for example, in the last um, episode, which was the Syrian gay man who, like, Rafiq. was, like, Rafiq, mm -hmm. who was so, like, like, his family just treated him terribly and he needed to, like, seek asylum and he applied for asylum in the U.S. And then the ending was a little bit too happy for me because he was just, like, dancing at the club and it was beautiful, which, you know, is, is a great moment for him. But at the same time, it kind of painted this picture that, like, life in America was going to be so perfect for him. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that great for a gay man in Idaho from Syria. Of all places for yeah. him and his friend to move to, it was Idaho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, I kind of love seeing all these beautiful stories, but I also wish that they weren't so happy ending, kind of, like, celebratory, because... I think that we need to see a little bit more of like 
you know. On the contrary, I liked that. Yes. <laughs> a lot of it's very like God is like. I mean, I know that that's realistic, yes. but mm-hmm. there's another side to it too, where yes. you can achieve it. And mm-hmm. you, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, the creator Kumail Nanjiani, mm-hmm. do you know who that is? Yes, yeah, I and his do. wife Emily Gordon. Yes. They. I'm so glad that they did this. Obviously, mm-hmm. it means something to him personally, yes. um, being an immigrant himself. So mm-hmm. um, I don't know why he chose to just highlight the success mm-hmm. stories, but I think that's the way that you can actually make this story in like like for mainstream America is oh. to like have it be not so controversial. Um, I know they were already approved for say, season two. Yeah. And so um, I, I do kind of hope that it's a little, little edgier on that like part when they, you know, like kind of talk more about like the struggles that American immigrants grow through. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with it. I am too. And I'm sure you're not alone mm-hmm. in that. And I'm sure that they'll get that feedback and yes. maybe they will. So mm-hmm. you never yeah. know. I have to tell you, there's a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes, the Ooh. score. I know. And the audience rating at 95%. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are saying this is the best show on Apple TV plus, mm-hmm. which is really high praise because yeah. morning show was so good. Yes. Um, so I'm really proud of the show and I'm, yeah. I'm happy that you chose that as one of the shows that you're most looking forward to in 2020. Yes, I'm really happy we chose it and that we talked about it. That was a success for sure, yeah. So if you haven't seen it yet, check out Little America. And also, please remember to like and comment and subscribe to us. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.